What's going on squad? Welcome back to another episode of season four here from beautiful Park City, Utah on the Canyons Village side. I have made a video on my skiing camera gear or the gear that I use to make these ski videos basically once a year. So I've made these videos before. I just feel like sometimes they get lost in the channel and yeah, there's always new people coming in and whatnot. So this video is largely inspired by Abe Kislevitz, the GoPro and GoPro skiing sort of master and guru. So he has already made a superb video on the different mounts and accessories that I highly recommend checking out. I will leave it in the description of the video here, but I just wanted to share mine. And so you guys can see the exact tools that I take with me on a daily basis to produce the ski videos and get the shots that I get. I feel like over the years I've kind of honed in to the essential pieces that that are that do well enough to get the job done. There's of course pieces of gear I would love to have, but it just isn't really practical to take with me while I'm also trying to ski and stuff like that. So we're gonna talk about my GoPro gear and the accessories and little tips and tricks that I have. And then also lastly, just show the bigger camera that's in my backpack and stuff like that that I'm filming on right now. The first order of business is the bag that I use. This is not my standard bag. This is a Dekine bag that I got literally 15 years ago from when I used to do Momentum ski camps. The bag that I really love is the GoPro Day Tripper. It just ripped and so I'm kind of hoping I can get another one because I really love that bag. It is the perfect size for what I do and it's small enough to where it keeps my camera kind of contained in and of itself. This is obviously a great bag. It's not even that it's too big on my back. It just feels like it's too loose inside where my gear, I just don't love it in here. The single most important camera that I use is this one right here. And I left it mounted because you guys asked me, where is it? How is it mounted? It is literally right on the front of my helmet. This is the GoPro Max and it is just on a standard like buckle with a thumb screw. This is kind of like my go-to setup. And when it's not on my head, I put this in my right side coat pocket. So that way when I need it and it's not on my helmet, it's likely in this pocket. So I have places for things that just help speed up this process. So I don't love skiing with things in my pocket because I think it's kind of um, a gateway to kind of hurting your ribs or something like that when you fall on it. But if this isn't on my head, it's usually on my uh, in my coat pocket. Now, the only other situation where I will use this camera right here is with this Backpack 270 Pro S. This is an extremely long pole that comes out in about like three sections. So there's the first section, the other section, there's even a top section here that goes even longer. But this is about probably like six to eight feet long, maybe six. The reason why I use this is to get those sort of third person drone looking follow type shots where the stick disappears. I am holding this pole in a fashion like this in my hand with my ski pole but because of the 360 software this will disappear and it gives me just another angle to to throw into the mix this is also really good for getting those shots off the lift with the 360 camera um, time lapses just gives you a really cool and versatile piece of equipment that packs down to something with a very small footprint. So this is always in my bag, whether I use it or not every day, kind of is beside the point, but just a great lightweight, easy um, tool to have to couple with my Max. I took one of my other Maxes that basically this backside lens is kind of shot, but the front side lens is great, the one with the cap on it. And I have this rigged to the GoPro Boom. This is a newer mount. It's a, one of GoPro's like new carbon fiber extension pieces and it's already rigged up ready to go. Batteries in it, memory card, buckles on it. So when I'm in pow day situations or when I'm just skiing with people and like the last thing you want to do is make people wait around for you to fiddle with your camera stuff. Rather than using this like small little Allen key and unscrewing this, finding the key, putting it back in, I figured might as well just leave one mounted up so it's ready to go. So then I can just take it out, turn it on, I can basically do all this with my gloves on even. And now I have the narwhal mount, which is really cool for like this floating camera look that I can have my hands free. So when I'm in a little bit more gnarly terrain, I like to go with this camera because it gives that a different angle, but I'm not carrying this big, big stick and big selfie pole. I know not everyone has a luxury to have multiple cameras, but even just finding ways to simplify things like maybe already having a spare buckle on it in the position that it is. So that way I never have to worry about what the angle is. I've kind of figured out the angle for the most part. So have a buckle on it, have the screws already tightened down and just have the stuff ready to go. Lastly, again, 
the backpack isn't really the one that I would always use, but in this side compartment here is where I keep not one, but two Allen keys that are needed to unscrew the uh, Allen screw here, Allen nut or whatever, Allen bolt. Because I know I'm gonna lose one. I know I'm gonna drop one in the snow and that's gonna be it. So I keep two. In a perfect world, I shouldn't have to be undoing this little metal thing. During a pow day, my gloves are off, all that sort of stuff. So this will just go in my bag and we're ready to go. Okay, now moving on to the next piece of equipment, the regular GoPro Hero. This might be something that more of you guys are familiar with, but I have one GoPro Hero 12 Black. This is the latest GoPro here, and you can see it's just already rigged up on the GoPro pole mount. GoPro pole mount, I think, is the best ski accessory you could have because what this allows you to do is literally just take your ski pole. If your basket is large enough, you can just sort of slide this on the end here, tighten it down, and now I'm literally ready to go. This is how I shoot a lot of those slow motion, you know, like pow shots or slow motion, just sort of shots looking back at me. And then when I wanna do like a follow cam of Joe or someone else, or even like time lapses off the lift, time warps, little B-roll stuff, I could just sort of turn it around and now I have a follow cam and I don't have to carry an extra pole. Sometimes I'll just do some vlog stuff like this. Like I'll just take the camera out and talk to it. The camera does great. The other camera setup that I have in here, which again, I don't use this that much, but it is in the bag, is a GoPro Hero 11 with the media mod on the, this is actually the GoPro Max grip. But what's cool about this is it, it extends out. So you kind of have a little selfie thing. But what I really like is that there's like this really nice tripod base with it. So I could set it up if I needed to and talk to it, which is probably how I'll film the second part of this video. Um, and it just gives me another sort of streamlined kit. Again, sort of trying to combine multi-purposes in one. The media mod is great to just give you a little bit extra audio quality, better audio quality. And honestly, the Hero 11 is, is still an incredible camera for shooting in 5K just to vlog with it or, or whatever. I mean, a lot of the features are similar between this and the Hero 12. So just having another Hero in here for the times where I might need it is really nice to, to have. So this is easy enough to just sort of throw in my kit here. But that way I kind of have two Maxes and two GoPros just in case something were to go down or if I met, met up with someone and gave them a camera, like just sort of, uh, yeah, kind of just part of the, the game. Let's talk about batteries. Batteries is probably one of the, you know, most talked about thing with GoPros. And I gotta be honest, I never have an issue with batteries. I go out with, you know, a battery in my GoPro Max and a GoPro in the Hero that's fully charged. And then I end up taking two extra batteries that are also fully charged. To be honest, I will rarely ever use more than two batteries. A lot of times I won't even go through one full battery. But I think the secret is keeping them in your bibs pocket or a pocket close to your body. Underneath my base layer, my mid layer, whatever, they are in these sort of inside compartments. In the other one that I have, I keep my hero batteries. So this is another example of kind of being streamlined. So I have two, again, of the Enduro batteries, but they're in separate pockets. So I know if I need a max battery, I can just go to this pocket. I'm not like kind of trying to sh shift between the two batteries. If I need a hero battery, I'll just go into this pocket. And then when I'm done with them, I'll put the dead ones in my pant pocket. So that way I know I'm not gonna accidentally grab a dead battery on accident, but don't leave your batteries in your backpack or in an outside pocket, like on in your legs, that's gonna get sort of exposed to the wind as you ski during the day. Try to put them close to your body. And if you're not using a battery for a while, put it away. Don't just leave it on the camera, on your helmet and let it get sort of wind blown all day. Just little tips and tricks. I never have issues with batteries, um, so. Yeah. Another set of accessories that I keep in my bag all the time are Polar Pro ND filters. This is kind of a topic in its own right, but this allows me to get realistic looking motion blur. Another accessory I keep in my bag is a GoPro mouth mount with a little extension piece. I think the new ones come with something like this, but this is just nice to have because if I ever want to do some POV stuff, um, sometimes I'll do it getting out of the van or stuff like that. It's just this nice mount to have and it takes up virtually like no room. Then the other place where I'll use something like this is with the Hero 12 on the Max Lens Mod 2.0. So again, I don't have this like ready to go because I don't use it that often, but it's in my bag if I ever want to sort of set it up. That's something I would just have to take a little extra time to do. But if you had two Hero 12s or something, you could keep one with the Max Lens Mod 2.0, just sort of POV ready or whatnot. But it is in my bag again because it's just doesn't really take up that much room. My toes are getting cold because they're so buried. 
So we are now over shooting on the Hero 11 with the media mod that I showed you guys a little bit earlier. But now I wanna go over the camera and lens combination that I take with me when I go skiing. This films all the cinematic stuff that you guys see, kind of like the slow-mo B-roll, a lot of the talking head stuff, um, me walking, like this is the camera, you know? So everything that's not on a GoPro is with this setup right here. Camera body is a Canon R6 Mark II. I think this is one of the best vlog cameras out there. The lens that I always come back to is the 24 to 70 f2.8. I've tried the 16 to 35, which is also a great lens. I just feel like sometimes for the B-roll, I feel a little bit limited by not having a little bit more reach. I've also tried the combination of a 14 mil prime 1.8 for vlogging um, to get a nice wide perspective and then carry a second lens which is usually this one it's just like sometimes it, it's just a lot you know and so the 24 to 70 is wide enough at 24 millimeters where i can i can vlog and then it gives me a lot of versatility and zoom to punch into 70 millimeters and get a little bit more telephoto b-roll that gives a little bit more compression and it just creates it gives me a lot of kind of gives me two different ends of the spectrum. On the top here is a Rode Video Micro. Another thing that's worth mentioning in this setup is my ND filter. This is an expensive, but one of the best things I bought. So I kind of have a built-in ND filter. Um, so just allows me to get have the proper shutter speed all the time. And it goes behind the lens. So it just gives me no vignetting. It's There's no color shifting. It's very, very solid and it's very easy to use. So this just stays here. I have an ND filter basically built into the rig. Um, and then on the front, I like to use a one quarter strength black promist filter this is a very much a stylized effect that just sort of softens the highlights a bit more sort of blooms the highlights a bit and just sort of takes a little bit of that digital sharpness out of the image that kind of sterile feel that you get with digital cameras nowadays i also always keep a joby gorilla pod in the backpack as well i feel like this is never ending how do i ski with all this stuff i really don't know you know it looks like this it draws a lot of attention um so I'm a little, I've, I'm a little bit more cautious like when to use it because people see the mic and the whole thing. They think I'm like shooting a movie, but it's nice because it kind of all breaks down, kind of put the screen away, take the mic off. I can lock the zoom of the lens and it all fits in the bag. And perhaps probably the most important thing that I recommend everyone have is carrying a microfiber. I carry this in my other pocket. So my phone goes here, microfiber goes in this one. So I always know where it is. But this way, I'm always wiping the lens down before I drop in. I take the camera off, I set the settings, hit record, wipe it, and then drop in. But I hope it was helpful. I hope it kind of shed some insight onto what I'm actually using in the bag. I think it might go sort of unnoticed the amount of gear that I have with me on a daily basis. So from jumping off little cliffs to little rocks, throwing 360s, stuff like that. Just, just trying to ski hard to keep it entertaining for you. I have a lot of camera equipment in my bag. So it definitely plays a role in my skiing. I don't remember the last time I didn't ski with a backpack. And I think it creates a, a, like a whole different sort of center of balance in your weight distribution. And sometimes I'm like, man, I wish I just would go out with a GoPro in my pocket, no backpack, and just really be able to rip and see what it see what it's like. So yeah, just, just something to just bring to your attention is that I have quite a bit of equipment in the bag, but it's kind of the tools that I need to keep these videos entertaining and high quality, but also in a minimal fashion as much as I can. So I feel like if you've been around the channel for the past year, you know how sort of regarded I uh, and revered I think of Ape. So check his stuff out. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Beautiful day here in Park City. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, fam. Peace out.